Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about mechanism cognates. Here we have a sketch of a four bar mechanism. As usual, link one is a ground link, meaning that it is completely fixed in place and acts as a pivot point for the links attached to it. Also, link three is extended into a triangular shape, and it is the motion of this point, which we will call point P, that we are interested in. We will consider the path that that point follows as the output of this mechanism. Four bar mechanisms have one degree of freedom, which means that the position of the entire mechanism is determined by the position of one of the non-ground links, usually link two. As a consequence of this, any part of this mechanism will follow only one path through any number of cycles. For a better view of this path, I created an Excel spreadsheet that shows the linkage and its path. The toggle points occur at the large gaps in the path. So is this the only mechanism that can be used to produce this path? What if you want this exact path, but one of these pivot points can't be used, like if some other part of the system you're designing overlaps with it? This is when you should consider a mechanism cognate. A cognate linkage is a mechanism that produces the same output path as another specified linkage. We will be taking a look at two different types of cognates, starting with four bar cognates, and we will be using properties of parallelograms to see how they work. A parallelogram is a four-sided shape where the opposite sides are parallel. It can be shown that in this type of shape, the opposite sides are of the same length and the opposite angles have the same angle. So since e following either half of the parallelogram uh, allows us to reach the same point, uh, let's try adding some parallelograms to our linkage here. So uh, we add those there to make a parallelogram there, and then we can add these here. It's a skinny parallelogram, but it still works. So this red linkage is a valid linkage. It's a valid cognate, but it has five links. To make a valid four-bar cognate, we're going to have to add a couple more things. Our four bar cognates are going to have a triangular link for link three, just like our original uh, mechanism. And the triangles are all going to be similar, meaning that they have the same shape but different sizes. So using these ratios uh, between the sides, we can find the lengths of the sides of the triangles and draw them. And then finally, we finish up the last parallelogram, which is right here. This point of that parallelogram becomes the pivot point for our cognate mechanisms. This diagram is going to be important for the rest of our discussion and should be the first step in solving any cognate problem. You can see the cognates in this sketch, and these sketches emphasize the ones that we're interested in. Here we have the modeled. This one is the original mechanism. This one uses the left pivot and the upper pivot. And this one uses the right pivot and the upper pivot. It's pretty hard to tell from the model what the path exactly is, so I plotted the paths for all three in Excel, and you can see that they are exactly the same. With the four bar linkages covered, we will now discuss geared five bar cognates. For any four bar mechanism, three of the geared five bar cognates exist as well. Uh, at least one cognate with six bars exists as well, but that's a topic for another day. If you analyze the rotation speeds of the links in this diagram, then you find that many of them actually have the same speed. We can use this as a constraint to allow us to analyze the five bar linkage. In a practical setting, putting a belt or a gear train with an odd number of gears would be able to make this happen. You can find the 5 bar equivalent to a 4 bar by using the same diagram as before and following the opposite sides of the parallelograms that your 4 bar uses. These sketches emphasize the 5 bar cognates. And we have these three cognates modeled just like the ones before.
Here are the Excel plots to show that the paths are the same for these linkages also. Cognates are a very interesting use of geometric properties, and they allow you to have many more options for mechanisms when a certain path is desired. This method for finding cognates is pretty easy to do by hand too, but showing that would make this video much longer than it already is. So if you have some graph paper and a protractor handy, go ahead and try it for yourself. I really would encourage you to try to solve this type of problem yourself, since you can easily find many interesting properties about uh, angular velocities and lengths of lengths that I wasn't able to cover in this video. If you like this video or have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. See you later.